<laughs> He's missing him. Uh, I do too. Uh, and she was at Essence last year, but now this year, Usher and Janet Jackson are headlining the upcoming 30th Essence Festival in New Orleans. So yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're mostly seeing traffic pretty light. We're expecting that, of course, as we get closer to July 4th. But this is still causing quite a bit of traffic. We had several cars involved in this crash earlier, turned into a car fire. We initially had quite a few lanes blocked off, and now it's just down to one lane blocked off, the number four lane, right at Vernon Avenue. It's backed up to Florence. You do have Western to take, of course, as an alternate. That might be a good idea. The delays are extensive, haven't really gotten better in quite some time still. All right, Scott Rife up in Air 7. With, uh, it's over on the 110. It's headed northbound through South L.A. as you get closer to downtown. Uh, it looks like we had about three to four cars involved in a crash, which resulted four cars involved in a crash, which resulted in a car fire. So we have the middle lanes blocked at Vernon Avenue. Uh, so I'll let you know if this gets any worse, but just a heads up, if you are traveling on that one, talked at uh, the 42 connector and it's moving slowly there as well. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay. So it's in South LA heading up to downtown LA. Always a tough spot as we get into rush hour. I just don't think we're going to see a whole lot continuing until we get even closer to the fourth today for rush hour this morning. Uh, but it is causing a bit of a delay on the 110 North. We had about three to four cars involved in this crash, resulted in a car fire. The good news is we had middle lanes that were blocked, and now it's just down to one lane, the number four lane, uh, right at Vernon Avenue. And then over into South, right at this connector is moving along nicely. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay.